Hello mga ka-senior, uh, andito tayo ngayon sa National Museum Complex and we will be exploring the National Museum of Fine Arts So alamin natin kung uh, ano ang history ng building na yan, which is the legislative building And then we're going inside to uh, visit the galleries, uh, take a closer look at the collections And then alam pa natin kung ano pa mga naka-exhibit sa loob ng National Museum for Fine Arts So tara! Join me as we uh, go inside the National Museum of Fine Arts. Tara! The National Museum of Fine Arts is home to 29 galleries and hallway exhibitions comprising of the 19th century Filipino masters, national artists, leading painters, sculptors, and printmakers. The museum also contains art loans from other government institutions, organizations, and individuals. The museum is open from Tuesday to Sunday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Museum entrance is free, no need to pay anything. The only requirements are valid ID and vaccination card. The museum is located along Padre Borda Street in Ermita, Manila. The Museum of Fine Arts is located inside the old legislative building. The building was designed by Prout Harrington Duan, Antonio Manyalak Toledo, and Juan M. Arellano, and was built between 1918 to 1926. It has witnessed various historical milestones of the country such as the Constitutional Convention in 1934 and inauguration of Manuel Luis Quezon as President of the Commonwealth Government in 1935. During Second World War, the building was heavily damaged when American forces bombarded the buildings with artillery fire. The building was rebuilt in 1949, maintaining the original footprint but with less ornate facade articulation. The first gallery is the Spolari Mall. As you enter the hall, you will find Guillermo Tolentino's Diwata on the entrance. The hall is dominated by the Spolarium, one Luna's most enormous artwork in the Philippines. This work won gold medal during the 1884 Madrid Exposition. The depiction of the Roman cruelty in the painting has been interpreted as an allegory for the state of the Philippines under Spanish rule. A 
Another work on display is Felix Desurrección Hidalgo's 1984 painting, The Assassination of Governor Bustamante. At the back of the spolarium is Ang Kyukok's Men Network. Next is Gallery 1 for religious art from the 17th to the 19th centuries. Outside Gallery 1 is a collection of drawings between 1786 and 1797 by Juan de Collar on Philippine plants. Gallery 3 are paintings of the Philippine colonial tradition of sacred art. Gallery for our paintings of the Philippine colonial tradition of portraiture. Gallery Pipe is a hall dedicated to Dr. Jose Rizal. Gallery Seeker paintings of Los Dos Pintores, Juan Luna, and Felix Resurrección Hidalgo. The Parisian Life is one of Juan Luna's obras done in Paris in 1892. The three men are actually Jose Rizal, 
Ariston Bautista Lid, and Juan Luna himself. The image of the courtesan has a geographical likeness to the e mirror image of the Philippine map. She also appears to be strangled as there is a line on top of her head because at that time, Philippines was under Spanish rule. Gallery 8 are paintings depicting the horrors of Second World War. Gallery 10 is actually my favorite. It contains the paintings of national artist Fernando Amorsolo. Gallery 9 contains early 20th century Philippine portraits. Gallery 11 contains over 100 sketches by national artist Fernando Amorsolo. The Session Hall of the Senate of the Philippines contained the 1968 painting by national artist Carlos Botong Francisco titled Filipino Struggles Through History, a commissioned artwork by Mayor Antonio Villegas for the City Hall of Manila. It depicts the saga of the Filipino people through the centuries. Gallery 13 contains the work of Cesar Legaspi and Napoleon Abueva.
Gallery 14 is dedicated to the pillars of Philippine modernism. Gallery 16 contains a set of four large-scale paintings titled The Progress of Medicine in the Philippines by Carlos Botong Francisco, commissioned in 1953 for the entrance hall of the Philippine General Hospital. Gallery 18 continues the pillars of Philippine modernism. Gallery 19 also contains the pillars of Philippine modernism.
Gallery 22 features two large paintings by national artist Vicente Manansala, commissioned by International Research Institute in 1962. Gallery 23 pays homage to Vicente Manansala. Gallery 24 contains a seven large painting by Vicente Manansala, commissioned in the 1960s for the Pilum Light Auditorium in Manila. On the third floor lobby stands Guillermo Tolentino's obra titled Venus. A new addition to the Museum of Fine Arts is the Hope Ngami exhibition of the Philippine Center, New York, core collection of 1974. These are the 115 out of the 120 artworks selected by former First Lady Imelda Marcos for the Philippine Center in New York.
Gallery 29 contains modern sculptures in the Philippines. Hello again folks, uh, we just spent more than three hours inside the uh, National Museum for Fine Arts I think medyo kulang pa dahil uh, talagang kung sus susuyurin mo lahat ng galleries I think it would take at least a whole, the whole day to really look at each, uh, at each and every uh, display uh, Ang ganda ng mga display, uh, you will see a lot of um, works done by uh, national artists of the Philippines Siyempre pinaka-highlight pa rin would be Das Polarium made by uh, Juan Luna na nanalo sa, sa European Exposition noong 1884. Nandun din yung, uh, siyempre yung another work niya, yung uh, The Parisian Life na very meaningful. Uh, In-explain natin kung ano talaga meaning noon. And then we saw a lot of works by um, Fernando Amor Solo. Uh, nakita rin natin ng mga sa, sa, malalaking murals na galing sa PGH, uh, International Rice Research Institute and then also sa Pilam Life uh, Nakita din natin ng mga sculpture na gawa ng mga Pilipino artists and then uh, isa rin sa mga highlight would be finally nakita natin yung mga 115 of the 120 works, artworks exhibited uh, in 1974 sa Philippine Center sa New York So overall, uh, napakaganda ng ginawa nating adventure. Uh, I hope na nakita nyo at na-appreciate nyo ang mga gawa ng ating mga Pilipino artists. Marami pang pwedeng tuklasin and uh, we'll be revisiting other museum. In the meantime, uh, again, I uh, would like to thank you for watching this vlog. Uh, pasensya na uh, we cannot shoot a video inside the, the, the galleries dahil bawal din. I hope na mag maganda naman yung pagkakakuha natin ng mga paintings uh, using photos. Photos lang naman. And some of the um, uh, iba pang artworks sa loob. And then explain, naipakita rin natin kahit paano yung history ng, uh, ng building na to, ang legislative building uh, from the time that it was built during the 1920s until now that it became a, uh, a national museum for uh, uh, fine arts of the Philippines. So again, uh, maraming salamat. Thank you very much for watching. 
Uh, travel while you can. Uh, if you have time, do visit the National Museum. Uh, open naman siya from Tuesday to Sunday. In the meantime, until our next vlog, thank you very much for watching. Salamat!